Today at Nation's Restaurant News' Create Experience 2023 in Palm Springs, California, four chefs are about to square off to cook for a very worthy cause, share our strengths, no kid hungry. While each of these chefs is innovative in their own right, only one will walk away with the title of Grand Champion. This is the 11th annual Texas Pete Kitchen Hero Cook-Off. Before we get started, let's meet our chefs. Hey, I'm uh, Chef Nate Weir. I'm the Vice President of Culinary for Modern Market. My name is Tiffany Sawyer, and I'm the Corporate Director of Culinary and Beverage for First Hospitality. I'm Brad Burgess, Corporate Chef, Director of Menu Innovation for Taco John's. My name's Dave Woolley, and I cook delicious food. In front of your stations is a mystery basket containing three ingredients. A protein, a fruit, and a mystery Texas peat product. You will have two hours to develop a new recipe, flawlessly execute it, and wow our judges. Are you ready, chefs? Let's go! Yeah. Ooh, I got bananas, Texas Pete hot sauce original, and I got a beef filet. I don't know what you're gonna do with that. You have any oh, idea? Oh, I mean, like a thousand things. All right, we have some beautiful Alaskan cod, it looks like. We have some cha sriracha, and some beautiful Valencia oranges. Let's have fun. Let's see. Ooh. Chicken, the original dust seasoning, and some grapes. Yeah. Yeah, excited about this? Oh, yeah. Okay, I see the optimism. I like it. All right, I've got some Texas Pete Sabor. Looks like a beautiful piece of pork and a couple little cute Asian pears. All right, your mind is already worrying. You're thinking about what you're no, going to do. Asian pears and Mexican hot sauce. Let's see what happens. All right, chefs, you've seen what's in your baskets. Now let's sauce like you mean it. I was pretty stoked. Chicken obviously is very versatile, and I got to break down the whole chicken, which made me even more happier, because I love butchery. We gotta figure out how to get the Asian pear in there, uh, but I think there's lots of options to do that. Asian pear is such a flexible ingredient, so I'm gonna come up with something really cool here. Uh, big thing was handling the fish, as I am allergic to fish, so, you know, how can I put components together in a beautiful way? Not being able to taste the fish. Trying to incorporate the Texas Pete hot sauce into other things you don't normally think of, like, bananas, for instance. I didn't know if I was going to be able to make that work, and it ended up working out great, I think. This is Garner Foods, 11th year of the Texas Pete Kitchen Hero Cook-Off. Through our partnership with Share Our Strength, No Kid Hungry, we have been able to donate over one million meals to hungry kids across the country. Sarah, Tell me your favorite part about your job. I think the answer is twofold, that it's incredibly inspiring to see what can happen when kids have access to healthy meals. There's so much potential. And I also love working with brands like Texas Pete to do creative, amazing, fun things to raise uh, funds and awareness for this important cause. I love Texas Pete and I love No Kid Hungry, so it was like a no-brainer for me to come here and do this. It's smelling amazing in here. It's 9.30, but I'm already ready for all these baskets. As the time goes on, uh, maybe it'll be a clear winner, but I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a tough competition. We are cooking up a storm, and it's a spicy storm too, by the way. Dave, did you use all Tiffany's flour? Oh, that's a good competitor move right there. I'll be forever known as the flour stealer. Uh, I just ate a bite, pretty tasty, so I uh, got my fingers crossed. Uh, had a lot of fun, no matter what. <laughs> what Chef Nate did with the Asian pear and our Texas pea sabor sauce, the Asian pear sweetness really popped in it with the spiciness of the sauce. And then I used the Texas pea dust in my coffee uh, and brown sugar dry rub for the pork as well. So I've got multiple Texas pea products in there. The chicken had a nice flavor. There's a lot of sweetness, but then again, a, a little bit of heat. The Texas Pete dry dust tweel was on top, and that was super fun, and it added a great crunch. And then, of course, I forgot to put it on the plate, but hey, it happens to the best of us. The cod, very well done, very flaky. Loved the crunch of the panko breading that he did. It was a sandwich, so that sometimes that's really hard to make look super sexy, right? But he did a really nice job with that, and the flavor is really outshone. And a little fun tip I picked up from him was he dusted the bun with Texas Pete dust and then toasted it, so I thought that was a unique twist on it. I really loved what Dave did with the beef tenderloin. I think he was very creative with his use of the bananas as the mystery basket ingredient. There's a famous Indian condiment called ketchup menace, and it is actually a banana puree 
ketchup. And I kind of did a variation of that. Win or lose, a great, awesome bunch of chefs here. We all had a great time, all supported each other, all helped each other out. Uh, so it was a super fun way to spend a Sunday morning. I think it's time to go have fun at Margaritaville. Thanks so much to our chefs, our judges, No Kid Hungry, and last but not least, Texas Pete, for sponsoring this incredible event. What's that? You want to know who won? Well, we're about to find out who the grand champion is right now. Now for the big moment, the winner of the 2023 Texas Pete Kitchen Hero Cook-Off is... <laughs> Nate Weir, Modern Restaurant Concept.